Hello to my channel lovers welcome back to KT sessions today we are going to explore the concept of configuration files in automation anywhere and we will see how to use these files to make our automation more flexible and maintainable with the help of our configuration files we can make our automations more flexible because these files allows us to customize the behavior of the automations without modifying the underlying code so for example we are using an application in our three boards and uh, the path of the application is same and we have saved the application path in the global variable or the global value because we are uh, using it in multiple boards but in this case i'm going to use variables in my only in one task board we can't hard code the value in the task board because that can change in the future so in that case we are going to use a config file in which we will save all the variables and in future if we want to update any value we can just go to that config file we can just update that value as good and this config file it could be a txt file csv file or an excel file also so in this file we will simply uh, write down values of all the variables which can change in the future and then we can use that uh, config file in our system now for example if i have saved 10 variables in my config file and uh, in future value of any variable gets changed so i will just go to this file and update that value for example in our task board we are sending emails to a stakeholder so we have hard coded uh, we had hard coded that value in our task board now in in future if poc will uh, left the organization then we need to go to our task board and update this email id first of all hard coding of the email id or any value is not a good best practice and second thing second thing if this email id is get change every time we need to go to the task board and we need to make the changes so in to avoid all those changes we just save all these value in our uh, uh, config file and we can use utilize that config file in future if that email id is get changed we will just go to this config file we will update the value of this email variable and new file similarly we can create multiple variables for example path of the application or uh, path of any folder or any other uh, variable which can change in the future all right so let's go to the computer screen this is the config file which i created i created four i created five variables there can be more variables and uh, you can either use a txt file also or excel file also whatever you want to do but using a csv file is very using and maintaining csv file is very easy so that's why i'm using the csv only in this i have written the value in the key value pair in first row we have headers or the variable names and in second row we have the values of the variables all right so what i will do is i will go to the control room and in my task board in which i'm going to use all these variables so in the beginning of the task board or before starting the main processing i will get extract the value of all, of all these variables so that i can use these in my task board so what i will i will do is i will take the csv action i will open that csv file i will give the path of the csv and then we will use the loop stage each row in csv txt i written and we will save the record in this csv text row and then i'm using the uh, assign action of string package 
and here I will use that uh, record variable CSV text row and name is the email for example I am going to extract the value of the email uh, this one email so this is the name of this column similarly we can extract the value of other variables also and uh, I will uh, save this variable value in the variable which is we email which is my email so this is how I will get the value from the config file to this my email variable similarly we can get extract the value from the another variable and now we can use this uh, email value in our dashboard and if we want to change the value we can simply go to the config file and update the value of this variable that's a wrap for today's video thanks for joining me remember to explore our automation anywhere a360 and blue prism playlists for more in-depth tutorials and tips check out our blog for informative articles on rpa and automation best practices don't forget to follow us on social media to stay updated on the latest trends and connect with other automation enthusiasts. Join our WhatsApp channel for job updates related to RPA tools and MNC companies. And if you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to join our WhatsApp group and connect with experienced RPA professionals. See you in the next video.